how is you guys can't do those things and you guys want to buy that television so let's say oh you cannot even do this but you still want to buy the damn television or so where can we cut this sentence you guys can't skillful do those things you guys can't do those things skillful and you guys want to buy that television where can we cut this cut it as short yes. as you want yeah You guys can't do these things. Those things. Yes, you guys can't do those things. How would that be? Te ette voi. Using the skillful. Ah, okay. Te ette osa. Te ette osa. And to do? Tehda. Tehda. And those things. In Finnish. Ten things. This one is very confusing to me now. This, them, those, that. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Because it's like kind of mixing. Yeah, yeah. But let's take it step by step. Ten more toes. How would you build that? And the building is like. Yeah, yeah. I understand. But from, let's let's try to me. let's try to make ne. Yes, let's try to make it clearer. So, if you have the word tis. Like near. Yes, it's very near of you. If you have the word tat, it's far. It's farther somewhere, you know, a little bit farther. If you say it, like, I haven't seen it. You're referring to, you know, something that is not very clear, clearly very close to you. And if you're see, saying t's, then you're meaning that very close things here. Have you ever taught how the word tis has been built? The English one? Yes. So it's really funny. I, I realized one day how it was built. No, but, but can you think about the first two letters? What? The TH. TH. Yes. TH. Do they remind you of any word? No. Oh, they? Yes. D or T. And what are the two other letters? I is. Is. So it's like combining the word the. T and is, and then the E has dropped out. Tis. And if you think about the word T and Tis, it's like we have the word T and we have the plural S there. Tis. And then we have just added a silent E there. Who knows? Maybe the words were built this way, maybe they were not. But we can see that. They have been building kind of, well, how could I say, kind of weird way. But similarly, we have ta, the T-A with two dots for this coming out of nowhere. <laughs> so sometimes you know, languages build things very strangely. But how would you say those things first of all? So those, is it close to us or not? Those. Those yeah, things. They are far. Yes, they are far. So, are you going to use the word te or tis to create? They. Yes. So, first, when thinking about tis or toes or... So, think about whether it's close or not in English. And then, if... You think about situation, oh, I haven't seen that thing, of course, or I haven't seen it, or it's far away, it's not very close. So then you might get a better at feeling, not feeling, but understanding if you build it using this, or T's, or it and they. In English, we have that movie, for example. Have you seen that movie? But when you don't want to say the word movie... You will refer to it as it. Have you seen it? In Finnish you will say it movie instead of that movie. You are just kind of clarifying. So whereas in English you have to use completely different word. Have you seen it? And if you want to have, say have you seen the movie. You cannot say have you seen it movie. And kind of clarifying by putting the movie there at the end. Let's say we were talking about a movie. 
And now the other person asks, did you watch the movie that I was talking about? Did you watch that movie? You cannot just say, did you watch it movie? In Finnish, it movie. So it's really confusing in English for a learner. But in Finnish, you will just say, have you seen it? And then you're kind of clarifying and adding the word movie at the end. Have you seen it movie? In other words, have you seen that movie? So think about it as a clarification. You're adding the it to which you're referring to the end. And first, think about whether the thing is close or far. In English, if we're thinking about the word this, is it close or far? Well, it's close. So we are not referring to it. We're not talking about that movie. We're not talking about it movie. So in this case, we are going to use that. So first think about in English, if the word is close or not, and then build it in Finnish. This place, is this close or not? It's close. How about that place? It's far. You could refer to it as it. So it's far. In Finnish, you will not say that place, but what will you say? It place. The word for place is paikka. P A I. K K A. How would you say that place in Finnish? Se paikka. How would you say those places? First off, is those places far or close? It's far. In Finnish, you would say. Te places. And of course, place is a object, so you will use te objects. How is those places? Ne paikat. And of course, when you're using tos or tis or tis, you know the amount, so use the certain state. 